For generations, Jose de Cruz's family have lived off the Amazon forest. They harvest its mangroves and catch crabs and oysters along the Amazon River. But de Cruz says deforestation is taking a toll on the forest and his livelihood. Over the past 10 years, the tide has risen about three meters and there are fewer mangroves now. We don't catch as many crabs as we used to. In the past, the government has worked with local and international organizations to limit deforestation and its impact on the environment. But Brazil's current president, Jair Bolsonaro, campaigned on the promise to let farmers, miners and others exploit the forest resources. He wants to change laws that prohibit commercial activities on land owned by indigenous tribes. And on his first day in office, he gave the agricultural ministry the power to allot land in the forest to companies. Right now, there is a drought in the Amazon forest region. And the land grabbers, timber merchants, public land invaders, those that cut down the forest, that make money on its destruction, they're advancing into the forest. At this time, the government should be increasing inspections. Instead, it's reducing oversight, cutting budgets and not letting inspectors do their jobs. The main actor in the environmental problems in Brazil is the president. Bolsonaro's issued a gag order on forest inspectors, but some of them are fighting back. They've released government data that shows the pace at which the forest is being cut down has risen by 15 percent over the previous year. Loggers are clearing an area the size of a football pitch every minute. Experts say the degradation of the forest is approaching irreversible levels. And they warn that could have disastrous consequences for the planet because the Amazon forest is critical to the global ecosystem and regulating temperatures. The Amazon forest has been nicknamed the lungs of the earth because it absorbs a quarter of carbon dioxide emissions. It releases vast amounts of water vapor and oxygen. And it's home to 10% of known animal species. Yet President Bolsonaro says Brazil owes the world nothing and that only Brazilians will decide what they do with the country's natural resources. He's lashing out at officials for releasing the data on deforestation. The data came out from inside, from one of our government organizations. That's the big worry that we have. These people disclosed these reports in bad faith to harm the current government and to erode the image of Brazil. A crackdown on forest officials could further embolden loggers, miners and farmers hoping to clear the forest. That would not only put the livelihoods of people like the Cruz at risk, but environmentalists believe it could threaten the planet as a whole. Mubin Nasir, TRT World. Let's get more on this now with Peter May in New York. He's an ecological economist and a professor at the Federal Rural University of Rio de Janeiro. Welcome to Money Talks, Peter. Now, I think a lot of people around the world were, were quite alarmed when uh, Brazil's National Institute for Space Research released uh, these latest figures on deforestation in the Amazon. Uh, firstly, how accurate would these figures be? And are you worried as well? Yes, thank you for having me. Um, I am uh, a, a part of an organization that is particularly engaged with the Amazon uh, destruction that has been going on uh, uh, unremittedly for the past few years. Uh, and uh, the Bolsonaro regime is uh, only contributing to that situation. The uh, National Institute for Space Research is one of the most respected scientific institutions in the world not only in Brazil, and uh, its data are, are known to be uh, particularly reliable for estimating the amount of deforestation. So the uh, Bolsonaro regime's re uh, denial of the deforestation rates that have been taking place and uh, intent to substitute its own institute of, of uh, space research with another private uh, source of information is very alarming. Now, Jair Bolsonaro made no secret of his wish to further exploit the Amazon while he was on the campaign trail. Do you believe that, that he is squarely to blame for this spike in deforestation? Uh, he's certainly contributing to it, but the, uh, the main culprit, I think, uh, can be uh, pointed to as being the agricultural sector and particularly those uh, segments of the uh, of, of the agricultural and mining sector that are interested in exploiting untrammeled resources that uh, still exist in the Amazon and that particularly in protected areas and in indigenous areas. 
Now, Jair Bolsonaro also campaigned on a promise to turn around the ailing Brazilian economy. One way, of course, was to unlock more of the Amazon forest for exploitation. Do you believe then that perhaps he does have a mandate to do this? Uh, the government has the mandate to uh, restore economic growth, uh, which they are trying to do with the pension reform and through stimulus activities that uh, have so far been unsuccessful. Brazil has had, uh, after two years of recession, declining ra uh, rates, rates of real growth, uh, and uh, there's uh, unemployment is worsening. The uh, situation is is uh, quite a uh, great concern to all the, of the society, but uh, taking down the, the what remains of the Amazon forest is not the answer. Uh, it is only a uh, another source of of uh, bad press for the Bolsonaro regime and will seriously undermine his interests in attracting investment and in uh, uh, supporting any kind of role, particularly with the European community, which with uh, Brazil has with the rest of the uh, Mercosul regime uh, in southern, uh, southern Latin America tried to seek a trade uh, uh, agreement recently. Mm. Now, is there such thing as sustainable deforestation? Can the Amazon be exploited in a less harmful way? The objective of the previous regime uh, under the uh, Workers' Party was to achieve zero net deforestation. And that is an objective that is achievable, uh, particularly given the Bra uh, Brazilian commitments in Paris at the 2015 uh, meeting of the parties of the Climate Convention to, uh, to restore degraded areas in the Amazon and other parts of Brazil and to reduce the pressures uh, uh, that are bringing about further deforestation, not only in the Amazon, but in the neighboring Cerrado Savanna regime. Okay, Peter May, we'll have to leave it there, but thank you so much for your analysis on Money Talks.